Hey, how's it going today? It's me, Captain Energy. Today we're taking a look at how to import MIDI from other DAWs into Reason. It's pretty easy. I had a subscriber ask how to do this, so I'm just making this video to show what I would do when I bring in MIDI from other DAWs. Now, why would you do this? You're curious. I mean, if you're using the DAW, probably if you've got Cubase or something else at home, chances are you have ways to use reason with it already just using it as a plugin or whatever but uh, in some cases you want to take midi from another person's digital audio workstation maybe they're using logic or maybe they're using cubase and you have reason at home or maybe maybe you just want to bring it into reason because you want to do all the work in reason because you like the the way it works better than you do in cubase you just laid it out quick in cubase or something so what you would do is you would export a midi file from whatever your you know, DAW that you've got the file in. Uh, that I would have to go through all the DAWs. I don't know all the DAWs, but typically it's file and then there's an export MIDI uh, in there. And then when you go over to Reason, you would go up to File and then click Import MIDI. So we go right down here to Import MIDI. And then it wants me to tell it where the file is. So my next move would be to go to whatever folder it's in. And then once I find the file, I just click import. And now there's the file. Now, the only problem here so far is that uh, now that I have the pattern brought in, the instrumentation does not come over with that. Why it doesn't come over is because primarily they don't, uh, you know, DAWs don't have the same instrumentation between each other. So what you'd have to do at this point is now uh, choose instruments for all of these all these parts that you've got here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab a drum kit. Now in this case I do have the drum kit here so I'm going to grab the drum kit that I used on uh, Cubase just to make this map out a little bit quicker. Uh, I can explain how to map remap drums if you want to yeah, in another video but uh, just for the sake of uh, speed here the uh, drum kit that I used over there is called uh, Punch 2. That's right. And so here we go. Here is Punch 2. Let's grab this. We'll drop one of these right here. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to go over and we're just going to drag right here. I'm going to drag these drums down to the drum kit. I'm also going to grab this uh, little margin here and bring it over so we have it when I play it a loop properly without having to uh, extend it or anything. Let me mute this. Now I know I'm using one of the dance kits. So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to bring in uh, the proper kit that this was created with. Let's go right up here. And I'm going to right click and we're going to quick browse. We're going to dance, dance one preset and dance kit. I think it was three that I used. That sounds about right. Might be the next one. Ah, there we go. All right, so now we got the dance kit loaded. And now what we want to do is look at these other instruments. Now you can tell what they are, by the way, because I the, the titles did come over. See how it says drum kit? Okay, I'm just going to change this right here to say to match it just because uh, I do like my labels. Um, now we want to bring over this bass sound. This was supposed to be like a bass type sound that hits alternating the kick drum. Also, you'll notice that it's slightly off. I'm gonna quantize this real quick. Control all and then hit quantize. Now my notes are all hitting on time. Um, we can actually use this, by the way. Huh? Well, you know what? We're gonna use the actual instrument that was brought it was brought in on. This is not something I would normally do, but uh, it's not. A, it's a kind of a 
good example of that these are usable uh, instruments right here. One thing I would do with this, um, let's transpose it down. For some reason, it's pretty high up on the uh, octaves. Let's bring it down to A1. All right. Um, again, now that this is here, let's get out of here for a second. Uh, we can delete this track since we're not using it at all this was the first drum track okay get rid of that we're gonna keep this this bass track here I'm just gonna drag that down so we know that it's been handled um, and actually we can add effects to it just like we normally would drop a uh, we'll just drop a tape back on it Pretty nice. Hide the effects just so they're out of the way. All right, so we got one thing left, and that's the, the arpeggiated part. Let's look at that real quick. Now, this also needs to be quantized. It's not quantized yet, so I'm gonna hit quantize real quick. Oops, that's supposed to be I was off by my mouse click. Sorry about that. Um, it should be right there. And now we're going to just give this a sound that uh, we want to hear. First, let's unmute it so we can see what's going on. Not a lot going on there, huh? <laughs> That's all right. There'll be plenty going on in just a minute. Let's get a sound that we want to use for that. Let's drop it in instrument and we'll bring that down to the instrument. Boom. Now maybe we want to gate it instead of uh, arpeggiate it. You could do that too. You can just go to effects and drop a gator on it. Or I could go to players and we can drop an arpeggiator on it. There we go. a little bit of cleanup. And maybe choosing a different sound. There we go. 
and that's it. So now that we've done all that, we have the uh, MIDI from the Cubase track brought in and I've done a little bit of work on it. Uh, I can continue on and build this up to something else or I could just uh, be happy with what I got and save that. When I'm done, what I want to do is I want to be sure that I save this as a, uh, a Cubase project or as a, uh, sorry, <laughs> as a Reason project. So I'm going to hit Save As and I'm just going to give it a name. Uh, we'll just call this demo import MIDI and there you go. And now it's done. Uh, and that's how you import MIDI from Cubase or any other DAW into reason and work with it. Now, if you have any more questions about that, feel free to hit me up. Uh, and I'll be glad to try and answer as many as I can. Uh, leave me comments below and I will get back to you. I usually do. Uh, and I was going to also say, uh, we might want to clean this up now. Let's get rid of this unused instrument just because I don't like leaving unused things there unless they're something I have a plan for it later. But uh, I'll resave that. Uh, and I was going to say, the uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by supporting me on coffee or buying merch. Uh, I am starting a Patreon. I have not got that up yet, but I will have one up shortly. So, and uh, that will come up in the description below when it is available. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all very much. Have an awesome night. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.